Okay, I'm at the mall, but I wanted to do a quick update before I go in. Um, oh man, I am like wiped, but in a good way, like a fun way. Um, I just got done hanging out with Brian. That's right. So I literally manifested a Brian. Dude, manifestation is weird. Um, he's nice. I feel like this is like the universe's way of like, cause I, I, I put it out there. I was said, okay, universe, like I want to see where I'm at as far as dating, right? Like I want to see where I'm at. I want somebody to go hiking with, somebody to go out to eat with. So yeah, the universe was like, okay, here you go. <laughs> Here's somebody named Brian. Um, it was weird. I feel like it's, like, almost like the universe, like, test in me to be, like, is this, like, would you accept this or do you want more? So, he's, like, like I said, he's nice enough. He's 42. He is divorced. I think he said they've been divorced, like, five or six years. They have a 13-year-old daughter. I think her name is Trinity Marie. She's currently, I guess, in Michigan with her mom. Um, he has her during the school year. She has the daughter on breaks. Because uh, I was curious about the parenting plan. Because the fact that he didn't have her was, like, kind of the start of a red flag to me. But, so, I'd been getting signs. You know, you told me the story about the adoption. Um, like, with, a. Uh, Lorian, and I had heard a similar story in the book that I was listening to um, about the guy being adopted at a young age and then turning out that uh, his biological parents got married, had more kids. I still think that is like the universe's way of telling me about like my Brian's family, but <laughs> this guy has a biological father and I think at like six months or something like something very young his stepdad adopted him so his name is and I, I I don't know for sure but the universe was sending me signs that my Brian is Brian Santana this guy's name is Brian Smith so it's like okay um, and then I kept seeing stuff about Air Force, like meeting people in the Air Force, like seeing this, uh, really cool, this guy had this house in, uh, Spokane in Sierra's neighborhood and had all these like really cool Air Force, um, like vehicles. He had like a missile on his front lawn, um, just like a lot of really cool paraphernalia. And I was like, okay, well, I feel like my brain, like, I feel like it's telling me more about my brain and something to do related with the Air Force. Uh, so this guy grew up on Air Force bases. <laughs> and I was like, okay, universe, like, this is just hilarious. Like, this is like, holy crap. And it gets one better. I cut out this picture of a bedroom set from an ad and I put it in my journal is like a future, maybe I want my bedroom set to look like this kind of a thing. I've looked at it a few times. I walk into his bedroom and he has the bedroom set. If not the exact same, very freaking similar. I was like, seriously? Seriously? Like, did I just like manifest this? Like, how the heck did this just happen? But, a couple of things one big one I well I told you about the text message the uh um that was easy barely an inconvenience and I was like yeah I would never say something like that I would never say to somebody oh making plans with you is barely an inconvenience like I would never say that to somebody I don't want somebody to say that to me I'm not an inconvenience I'm not barely an inconvenience I like Making plans with me is fun. Like, making plans with me and a friend is fun and wonderful. And 
it's not an inconvenience. I don't find it funny. I don't find it, like, amusing. I don't want that in my life. Um, still, he was a lot of fun to hang out with. Um, the other thing that I did not like... So, he was complimenting me. So, one thing that I'm recognizing, um, I did, I think I told you my Tai Chi master gave me physical touch as my homework to start touching myself, like, just, like, stroking my body, caressing my body. So, I've been doing it, and it feels flipping amazing and wonderful, and I'm like, oh my god, like, why do we not, like, massage ourselves and touch ourselves the way that we want to be touched, like, more often? Like, physical touch, like, we should be showing it to ourselves, so I've been doing it and this guy was like super touchy feely very like in the way that I like it um yeah it was it was nice uh lots of back and forth like just like feeling each other up <laughs> but like just a lot of like physical touch but like nice gentle sweet soft a little bit more like passionate today like in the pool it was nice um, he's okay to make out with. Not my favorite. And you know me. I love to make out. I, oh god, you know how much I love to make out. <laughs> well, we've made out. <laughs> um, like, I love kissing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. This guy, it was okay. He does have, I gotta show you a picture. He does have, like, like a beard. Um, he does have brown hair. He, do, he has blue eyes. Um, he's got very pretty eyes. I still feel like my Ryan has kind brown eyes. I don't know how, I don't know how to describe it. Um, and, okay, so the physical touch. So I've been doing that for myself. So now I'm recognizing I need to be telling myself more words of affirmation. Like, what do I want somebody to tell me? I'm beautiful, I am smart, I am amazing, I am sensual, I am passionate, I am creative, I am a very kind human being, I am empathetic, I am super ridiculously smart, I am talented, I am, I am freaking gorgeous. Do I want to be described as sexy? I don't think so. I mean, I am. I know I am. Maybe I should, like, own that. But I want to be, like, beautiful and gorgeous. And I don't, I don't think I want to be sexy. Like, I don't think I want somebody to tell me that. Like, I don't want them, because that, to me, kind of, like, makes it more lustful and less, sens less sensual. So... Thinking about, like, I do have nice curves. I do have a nice butt. But remember, I was telling you, I don't really like my butt smacked. That, like, definitely triggers me because of Dave. Um, but I don't think I like that. I think I like the soft, gentle touches. Like, I do like some passion, for sure. Um, so, like, maybe a combination of both. But I don't want the slapping, the anything animalistic, like... I want the sweet, the passionate, like, the lovemaking, the just being sensual, like, and we did do a lot of that with Brian and I, it was, it was, it's really, really nice, um, but he, I think we were in the bathroom, and, um, he made a comment about, like, I mean, he loves my curves, which, hello, yes, and he was very complimentary of, like, my thighs and my calves, and he, you know, like, likes a little bit of meat on them, like, I do, I have, like, pretty good muscular, like, legs and arms and stuff like that, like, I'm not a twig by any means, like, I've got really nice curves, um, and he was complimenting me on that, so I need to compliment myself more on that to be comfortable with it. And then, like, I, you know me, I love my tummy. My tummy is, like, probably the thing that I am the most proud of, like, on my body. Like, and I need to just be proud of the whole thing. See, like, I'm doing this, and it's so good. Like, it feels good. 
tickling my face with my hair. It feels really good. And, um, like, he was doing that. He was, like, you know, like, not, I don't think he did my face. I was touching his face a lot. Okay, so I need to be stroking my face and my hair and stuff like that more. Um, because it feels so good. But, uh, like, when he would, like, touch me and it would tickle, it felt good. It wasn't like how Chris, um, Colantino was, like, trying to, like, poke me, tickle me, like, a little kid, like, poke at me and tickle me. I was like, I don't like that. But Chris was fun to, like, goof around with, like, <laughs> play around with. Um, you know, like, when he would do it, I would knee him. <laughs> we were just, like, being little kids. Like, okay, that was kind of fun. Um, so, like, playing around with somebody, like, play wrestling, you know, like, playfully doing jujitsu, like, that'd be fun. So, this guy was, like, he complimented my stomach, and I was like, thank you. And he did call me beautiful. He called me sexy numerous times, and I realized it made me uncomfortable. And it was like, does it make me uncomfortable because I don't believe I'm sexy? Or does it make me uncomfortable, I think, for the other reason that I told you? And it doesn't, I mean, you know, they don't necessarily have to mean it that way. But for me, that's how I take it, is sexy is more lustful. But he did call me beautiful. But the comment that he made, um, so he was talking about my stomach and he said something about it being tight. He was like, you've just got like, like, you're just like tight, you know, like with my stomach. And then he like basically put his hand near my crotch and was like, and you're tight there. And I was like, no, 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 no. That was like, nope. Like I almost like ended the day there. But I was like, well, we already have plans to go hiking and to go get brunch and mimosas. I'm gonna just go do that, you know, like, and just recognize, like, I don't want to be talked to like that anymore. I don't want to be treated like that anymore. That's not a compliment that I want in my life. That's not a view that I want somebody to have about me. Um, we do have very different ideals as far as he believes in heaven and hell. And I don't believe in hell. I don't. I truly do believe, especially after the NDE, that we are all unconditionally loved. Like, God is just... I don't, I don't, I don't, like, because I think when we talk about God, it, like, makes them, like, too much into a person. But I think, like, God is, like, just unconditional love. But I think when we transition on, we are all, like, we all go to heaven. You know, like, we all are unconditionally loved. Nobody is punished. Because how could you punish somebody for sinning? Because we literally all, and who says that anything that we do is a sin? Us, as mortals, as humans. We just, like, we're the ones who put judgment God does not judge. God does not judge. We judge. We have free will. We are mortals. We have egos. We judge. God does not judge. God just fucking loves. So he's very like Christian and like super Bible follower. That's cool. But that's not an ideal that I would want my children raised with because he was even saying well you gotta teach kids that there's consequences why? but there's there doesn't have to be like we can teach compassion and empathy by demonstrating but you don't need to punish children we're not we're not here to punish that's not our job like I don't believe anybody's job is to punish anybody. I believe all of us, our jobs are to love. I know. I've gotten really, really weird. Like, really, really out there. I've always been pretty out there, but, like, since the NDE, it's just, like, yeah. So, I think this was, like, a good lesson in here's what you like, 
the fact that he suggested brunch and mimosas, he did not end up cooking for me. But I also left because I didn't want to, like, stick around. Who knows? Maybe you would have cooked dinner for me. Um, we did split the bill. Um, which, whatever, is fine. Oh, that was another thing. Um, he doesn't travel. That is a huge red flag. No. Nope. Sorry, universe. Nope. Next. Nope, 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 nope. Like, my person travels hands down without a doubt loves to travel already is like adventurous and travels and has a wanderlust like me and loves nature like I've written that down in my list of characteristics of my Brian so many times that my Brian is super connected to nature loves to travel like is passionate about life this guy likes his job good for him I don't really have like a set like Chris wrote down like makes a hundred thousand dollars a year I don't have that I don't have a set number but I do have that he lives a life of abundance and he's very passionate and loves what he does for work because I love what I do and that's like super important to me this guy was like, yeah, I don't travel. Like, I've been to Canada. And I'm like, you don't travel? And he's like, no. He's like, you know, just something comes up, like, with money. And it just falls through. And I just, you know, am not able to go. And I was like, oh, fuck no. Nope. 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 Universe. Nope. 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 That is a big old nope. <laughs> um, did I still go back to his place? And did we mess around some more? Yes. Did it feel really good? Yes. Did I take away that maybe I do like it when a guy goes down on me? It is rather enjoyable. Um, so maybe I do still want to carry over, like, oral sex into my partnership. Because I actually do enjoy giving it, too. I do. I do. I enjoy pleasing. This guy was definitely, like, he, he enjoys pleasing, though. Like, I didn't get him off at all. He got me on uh, twice, I think. Once last night and then once today in the pool. Yeah. Both times going down on me. Felt really good. But when I would try to give, like when I would give him oral, like he wasn't able to just like be there and enjoy it like he had to like be touching me too which I like that because I I'm like that too like hot tub guy was not like that at all <laughs> hot tub guy could like just receive and not give two shits about giving back <laughs> so this guy is definitely like you know there's a lot of stuff that I really enjoyed a lot of stuff I took away we did talk we did talk about our exes I just have a lot more compassion for Dave than he does. But I I I came that before the NDE because I got like that in the divorce care class. And that was like August through October. The divorce care the support group. I was like the odd one out who just I was thankful for Dave's girlfriend. I was thankful for her for you know, taking him off my back for providing for my children for, you know, like, yeah, I mean, providing for him so that he can spend time with the children because without her, he wouldn't be able to, because he wouldn't be able to work and support him and the kids and spend time with them. Like he's just, he doesn't have that ability. So like, I've been super thankful for her. I should really tell her all that. It's so weird that I still haven't. I always say I should and I haven't yet. Like, there's something about that too. But I really, really, really should. Um, you know, I like going hiking. But I think I also like peace and quiet some. Which is weird. But when I'm out in nature, I do like to talk. But I also just like to stand there and take it in and observe and just fucking... Like, there was a couple times when he was talking, and I was like, just so you know, I'm going to tune you out, um, because I'm, like, I was watching this bird, and I just love watching birds, and the way that they float on the air current, 
and it's just oh my god like at Angel's Landing it was just like amazing um so there was definitely this guy drives a Kia I also feel like my future person is gonna drive maybe he's gonna drive a white Jeep Grand Cherokee it was really funny because I told this, so I don't know if I've told you, like, my absolute dream car is a Jeep Rubicon, and it's this, like, teal, I think it's called Bikini Blue, it's, like, this teal, oh my god, color, it is so gorgeous, and I saw this, and I was like, no, that's the car I want, and if I sold the home, I could totally get it, like, if I sold the home and made, like, 550, like, I think the home is worth, like, 525000 right now, like, I don't know where I live, like, but it'll work out. But if I made that, especially if somebody did like a cash, oh God, cash offer. Yes. Like, okay. That's how much I make. I make 555,555 on the house. That's how much I sell it for. And it's a cash offer. Bam. So it is. Pay off the debts. Pay off Dave buy myself a Jeep Rubicon and I have the most perfect place to live land in my lap it is it's gonna it's gonna happen or I'll win the lotto and it happen that way but it's gonna happen but I definitely was not a fan of his like limiting beliefs with oh I didn't travel because blah 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 because that will always be his belief and always be his excuse and that does not vibe with me. So this was very much like, thank you universe. Thank you for showing me a lot of what I like. And thank you for showing me what I don't like and what I don't want. Um, I think that was everything. I'm going to go to Victoria's Secret. Do they sell jean shorts? Because that's what I'm going to go look for. <laughs> Do they sell, like, I don't know. But I have a $150 gift card. And then I kind of want to get like a bralette and a panty like matching like maybe a set or two um I don't think I have any coupons right now whatever I guess I could check on retail me not and see if there's any and then um I'm supposed to hang out with Rhonda tonight and a couple of her friends and then I was also supposed to hang out with Marcus so I should actually go call him right now and see what he wants to do to hang out I gotta go home and go take out Posado and shower and get ready and stuff I'm loving my hair loving this absolutely like it's so fun to do my hair this way um okay so I think that was update on everything I think it's amazing that I manifested a Brian I think it's amazing that the universe showed me where I'm at and what I need to work on and I am flipping amazing and gorgeous and beautiful and I do want somebody to make out with and holy shit I do want all the passionate touching the sensual oh my god oh like, being touched feels so good um we did not get the show, Dave and Randy. Like, fuck. <laughs> so, it's just, it's, it's, yeah, it's coming along nicely. And I feel like the universe is like, hey, I'm going to send you all these little sun, su subtle things. Like, hey, like, make you think maybe this is your Brian. No. No, it's not. And I still think I'll know. I'll know. Maybe his name isn't Brian, you know? But I'm going to know. Like, when we meet, I'm going to feel it. I'm going to know. I've met his essence like four times in dreams or maybe in the matrix in quantum, whatever you want to call it. Like maybe like we were actually together, like, you know, like, so our souls know each other. We are going to know each other when we meet. All right, girl. That was a lot. I love you. I've just been sitting here in the parking lot.